Welcome back to Brushing Up on Algebra. This video is about multiplying a rational expression by a constant. Uh, I see people make this mistake a lot, uh, so I thought it's something that just should be quickly addressed. I want to start out with the wrong way to do this. Now, this is the mistake that I commonly see. So when people have 3 times 2x minus 5 over x plus 2, the wrong way to do this would be to say, okay, this is the same thing as 3 times 2x minus 5 over 3 times x plus 2. This is what I see a lot. So this is a big no. You absolutely do not want to uh, do this. So this is big, just a want to be very clear about this warning. This is not the way that you do this. So how? let's go ahead and go on to the right way. So we have 3 times 2x minus 5 over x plus 2. This 3 does not go to both the top and the bottom. It only goes to the top. So it would be 3 times 2x minus 5 over x plus 2. Bad handwriting, sorry. So 3 times 2x minus 5 over x plus 2. Now let's go ahead and finish this up over here. I want to simplify this by distributing this 3 so I get 6x minus 15 over x plus 2. Should be an equal sign there. So that is going to be the, uh, uh, again, bad handwriting. <laughs> so that's going to be the way that we do this. Uh, nobody cares. <laughs> Just some bad handwriting issues. So 6x minus 15 over x plus 2. The constant only goes to the top, not the top and the bottom. So now let's go ahead and do another example. Uh, this one's very, very similar. But it's, it's this one's not actually a constant. It's just an expression. But I still wanted to go ahead and do it. So we have x plus 1 times... 9x over 4. Well, in the same way, this piece here only goes to the numerator, not the numerator and the denominator. So it would be x plus 1 times 9x all over 4. And that's going to be, uh, distribute this 9x to the x and the 1, so you get 9x squared plus 9x all over 4. So that's going to be our final answer. So now let's um, going to be let's oh, sorry let's go ahead and uh, talk about why this is why it only goes to the top. Now this is going to get a, just a little bit into theory, but uh, it's worth worth talking about. So when we have for example, 21 over 3. Now, of course, we could simplify that, but just, just going into more detail, what this actually means is 21 times 1 third. That's actually the definition of a fraction. I know that might sound a little bit strange. That is the way we define a fraction, 21 times 1 third. So that means 1 third of 21, which we know will be 7. So now let's look. take this and look at this particular example. 4 times... 5 over x, well, this means 5 times 1 over x. And then using the associative property, and I don't know if you remember the term associative property, but remember that this will be the same thing as 4 times 5 times 1 over x. And 4 times 5 is 20. And remember that this just means 20 divided by x. So this is the long way to do it, just to show you why it works the way it does. But this is why the constant only goes to the top, not the top and the bottom. Alright, that concludes this video. I will see you in the next one.